I, I was watching. He short circuited. Short circuited. The mind short circuited. He so short circuited. I said to myself, believe me. And me too, by the way. I might even be more important in this than Bill. I don't know. But and, you know, I went to school in Philadelphia. I went to the Wharton School of Finance in Philadelphia. Well, I don't even know. And, and I will tell you that I just, and I can't, because, you know, I've been talking about, I'll tell you whatever you, I just left Erie County. I mean, Erie has been, I don't know, I guess you've heard. I guess they call, but I really, I, I really say, look, I watched Hillary, and I have to say, and I've raised, I've put in a lot of money into the Republican National Committee. I spend a lot of time and put in a lot of money, and, and I will tell you, I w and I'm spending money on my own campaign. You know, I, I went through the whole primary system. I paid for it. And I'm going through this, and I'm spending for me. And I'll let you know, hey, when I first came out, oh, I understand. But if I didn't have, and I would call, and I would tell them, and I would tell you, that I have been, and then I say, I think there was, now I understand. So I say, so I've been saying, and I'll keep saying, I've been saying, and I say, and I say, and I honestly believe, and let me tell you folks, and I don't think you're gonna put up with it. So I just went, and I visited, I met his son, I met his kids, his grandkids, I met everybody. I met his employees. He said things to me that I thought were incredible, and I said, I would like to have, you know, I looked, and I love that stuff. I love plants. I love all of it. And I looked at the plant. I've seen plants that aren't so good. I looked at a piece of steel, as big a piece of steel. I've seen big steel, but as big a piece of steel, a beam, as I've ever seen. And I was talking to him about it. And I said, so how's business? And I said, but I found over this, because I've met so many people, but when I see the love in that plant, and I met all the employees, you know, I was in West Virginia where I had a tremendous victory. I got a massive vote. I think, and you know who's more disgraceful in my opinion? The media. They follow me, and I'm on all the time. I do get much better ratings. And I said to a friend of mine, can you imagine if I said that about myself? I would be all over every paper anywhere in the world when I said, and I think they're going to be good stories. You know, I do good work. I built one of the great companies of this country. I built this. I, I did one of the great jobs, some of the great assets in the world. Very low debt, tremendous cash flow. That's why I can do this stuff. Believe me. I spent about $51 million, something like that. And I came in first in a landslide. And I said to myself, but I just said, I don't want anybody to be hurt. I will tell you, I'm going to lower your taxes. But I'll tell you, I tell it now for the last month, I tell this, but a friend of mine builds plants, right? And I said to him, how are you doing? I said, where? I said, really? So I said, how's the United States doing? And I said this before in Erie. I don't think so, I'll tell you. I don't think so. But I said it to them. And you know, look, my whole theme, believe me, the jobs are coming back. A friend of mine said, why didn't somebody else think of that? A friend of mine recently said, I said, no, they're not stupid. Isn't it nice that I do what I do and I just spend a lot of money? Oh, what a, I'll tell you, I hope I win. I'm going to feel very, very foolish if I don't win. When they called me, folks, I couldn't care less. They didn't give me anything. I couldn't care less. And great guy. I met him a couple of times. Trump gets more votes than anybody in the history of the Republican Party. I ran against 17 people, and I know you're all voted, in my opinion. I really mean this. I really believe it. Because I looked at Erie, and I've been all over the state, and I know the state well. I know the state well. But let me just tell you, I looked all over, and I'm studying it, especially when I know what's happening here, folks. In my opinion, and I mean this 100%, so I hope you people can sort of not just, and I have still, I'm supposed to be a smart person. I have still, I've yet to understand, and I really believe, I think we're going to do well in Virginia. We're not doing as well there now, but I actually think we're doing really well. I just don't think they're giving us the credit. We're still pretty close. Hey, look, I've been talking about Michigan. I mean, boy, oh boy, would I like to see. I think maybe, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what the law is. 
because I guess somebody. So I don't think they tried too hard. I don't think they tried too hard. We'll see what happens. And believe me, if they didn't, their job's a lot easier. I can't imagine. I'll tell you, I've gotten to know him. Thank you. I've gotten to know him very well. He's a good person. And he endorsed me, and that was a great honor, okay? And a lot of other people. By the way, a lot of other people. So many people, when I walked in, would you read the snake tonight? I don't know. Have you heard the snake? Is it okay for the ones that have heard it, if I read it? Is that okay? And when I originally ran, when I made my first statement, I talked about illegal immigration. I talked about problems that we have. The NRA, by the way, endorsed me early. I think it was the earliest endorsement they've ever given. But the NRA endorsed me. Let me tell you. And I'm just saying... So I, I read this today, and so many people standing outside, they heard me, they said, would you do it again? I said, I'll do it again. And it represents, in my mind, what's going to happen in our country. And I have a bigger heart. I have a big heart. I want to take care of people. I want to build safe zones in Syria. I want to have the Gulf states pay for it. I read this, I immediately thought of our border. And I said to myself, guess what? I'm going to put this in the form of a poem, and I'm going to read it when I'm of that mind. I have friends that won't go there anymore. I have a friend. I said, how are you doing? Did you go to Paris yet? And as soon as I saw that and I heard he was there, I said, oh, no. And here's the story. So I read this. So I brought something special for you tonight. We're going to go quickly because I want to get the hell out of here. I want to go home. I love these boards. Look, here's a beauty. Here's a beauty. I just, I love charts. I love charts. And I always said, you know, it's too tough putting a screen up. You got to get guys. It costs too much money. I don't like to spend money. So I spent a lot of money on my campaign. I continue to spend a lot of money on my campaign. That's good. Uh, and I'm not looking, you know, I'm raising a lot of money for rights and for the whole Republican Party. A lot of people don't understand that, but that's okay. But I've raised a lot of money. And I don't think they even know what I'm doing. I'll be honest. Some of these people, I'm raising so much money for these people. Oh, but that's okay. They'll figure it out soon. I'm telling you, soon they're going to figure it out. See what I did here? Look. So in one way, I feel a little foolish, to be honest. I showed this yesterday. I feel a little bit foolish. Now, I know the hedge funders, many of them. Some are some my friends of mine. Some are sort of friends of mine. This I can tell you. Frankly, they're people that I'd like negotiating, but I have some of Carl Icahn. I have some of the great people on my side, some of the greatest businessmen in the world. And Hillary Clinton said, after hearing me, do I know this business or what? Hey, I used to be a donor. Now I'm a donor to myself for my own campaign. And you think it's easy? It takes guts to run for president. Don't get this. I don't even know who it is, which I felt was unfair. I said, don't do that. And I'll tell you what, honestly, I feel much better about it. I'm a very fair person. And I'm going to give the 19000 back. It's ridiculous. I don't know what else. I was thinking about it today. You know, as a builder, it's disgusting to me. No, I don't know. I don't read about it. I like tippy-tap. I like every, everyone who goes to my buildings and my clubs. They're tippy-tap. Right? Tippy-tap. So the way I look at it, I'm going to get to Pennsylvania Avenue one way or the other. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. You know, I was recently traveling to a, I won't mention the location because they're incredible people, but I was in an area. I said, how's it doing? I'm going to come back. I'm going to be in Pennsylvania a lot. I'll come back again and visit you. I mean, I promise you, you're going to be so proud of you, President. I'm a messenger. I'm a messenger for common sense. I'm a messenger for doing what we all know has to be done. Which I said before is, and I'm going to say when he comes into Washington, Bill, I'm sorry. I can't do that. Actually, I want to win much more. And then I say, but they cut it off in... So I brought something special for you tonight. We're going to go quickly because I want to get the hell out of here. I want to go home. I like tippy tops. They're tippy top. Tippy top. I like tippy tops. They're tippy top. Tippy top. I like tippy tops. They're tippy top. Tippy top. Never Trump. How about never Trump? Never Trump. And then never Trump. Never Trump. Never Trump. Never Trump. Never Trump.
Never Trump, but never Trump. Never Trump, never Trump, years, never Trump.